Uh, kind of thrust into the, the line of duty last year, um, but responded pretty well. How are you and this team going to try and build off last season? What are some of the building blocks for this year? Um, we have a lot of returning guys back, so that will be very nice for us. Uh, we're going to build off of just all the strength and power we have. We have a whole lot. Uh, we have a lot of uh, strength and conditioning this year. We hit it hard in the weight room, so I'm pretty sure we'll do pretty good and respond. What do you think will be the, the calling card, if you will, for Busco football in 2018? Um, I just think that as long as if we can pull it together and work as a team, it'll like that'll just make us be the team we need to be and what we want to do. In your eyes, what did you guys take away from last year as a team that you can apply this year? Um, last year we took away, I mean, we did good in some situations, and in some situations we didn't, especially in fourth quarter when we were behind. We had, had struggles pulling it together and working together, but this year we recognized that that was our weakness, and we're going to build and work on that for this year. What are you most looking forward to about this 2018 season? Um, all the guys returning. Uh, that, that's a big confidence booster because we know each other. We're a team, and uh, we're ready to hit it hard this season. Appreciate it, my man. Um, senior year, so what did you learn from your junior season, not only yourself but as a team that you guys can apply here in 2018 to, to have this team go far and uh, accomplish all your goals? Well, almost everyone's returning back, so we all got a lot of experience and just uh, everyone working together. What do you see as the biggest strengths for this team on the offensive side of the football? Um, we have our full... We have our whole backfield pretty much returning except for one halfback, so we're all, we've all played before and are ready. I, I guess on a kind of silver lining, obviously you guys were gonna, going to rely on Garrett Horn a lot last year. With his injury, you got other guys in the mix. How do you benefit from getting that experience last year on Friday night? Yeah, so instead of a senior leaving and now someone has to fill a position that hasn't played varsity, he's already, Keener has already played varsity, so he's ready for the season. Tell me about this Bucks, Busco defense. What really sticks out to you and what are going to be some of the, the key uh, ingredients for having a good defense? This year? Uh, our outside linebackers are going to be pretty strong. Also secondary and we got a big line so we'll rely on them. A final question, goals for Busco here in 2018? Uh, we're looking for a conference champs and hopefully sectionals. Okay coach, as far as this Chura Busco team goes, what do you notice about this team in the offseason that has you excited about 2018 as we get things rolling uh, in about 10 days with practice? Well, we've had a really good summer uh, and, you know, we've, have, we've got a lot of guys back that played very key roles last year and uh, obviously we lost some kids that are, you know, going to be tough to replace, but I think overall the team unity and, and everybody's getting after it in the weight room and uh, we had a really good winter uh, in the weight room and, and translated well into the summer and, uh, you know, we don't, we don't have a lot of numbers, that's kind of the way it is every year and so depth is always an issue, but I, I really like the way our team competes and uh, gets after it and encourages each other and I, I think they're a very tight-knit group and uh, looking forward to seeing and how it translates to the field. You got Tom back at quarterback. It's always good to have a, I believe he'll be a third year starter at QB for you guys. So who are some of the other players that uh, are going to be taking prominent roles that we've seen on Friday night? Uh, well, Nathaniel Keener will be back at fullback. You know, he stepped in when, when Garrett Horn got injured last year and, and had a great year. And, and uh, you know, he's a little bit different style running back than, than what Garrett is, but uh, has gotten a lot stronger this year and, and, and really carried the load for us last year. So we're, we're very fortunate to have him back. Uh, and then, you know, at halfback position, we've got, you know, Really, we, a rotation of guys that Sam Wood and Gage Kelly and Jake Falk and Joey Emmenheiser that we feel like that'll get us fresh legs in there quite a bit. And, and you know, they're very athletic, uh, you know, so we're not used to having that many athletes at one time at Cherubusco. So we feel like we can do some things with them. And uh, Brant Parsons at receiver, and, um, you know, he went to the OPS camp this year with Tom, and I think he really improved. And, you know, we're not known for passing, but I feel like we've got some weapons that maybe we can do some things offensively. And then on the defensive side, the ball you know we have Reese Wicker back and uh, we have Parker Curry back and uh, those are some guys that you know we feel like um if they play well and, and Tanner Allen outside linebacker, if they're playing well and doing what, what they're supposed to do, um, you know, we might be able to make a few stops here and there and get the ball back in, into the athletes' hands and see how it goes. So we're, we're looking forward to it. What's priority number one when you roll out the footballs uh, coming up here in 10 days on August, or excuse me, July 30th? Well, we definitely have to find some uh, – we have to figure some position things out. I mean, we've got some guys that uh, we're not quite sure what their role is going to be, and a lot of that is going to be determined on 
what some other guys can and can't do. So, um, you know, there's some kids that we're looking where we're going to plug them in. We feel like we have to have them on the field, but uh, we don't necessarily know yet what the best way to do that is. And we've done some seven on seven and some scrimmage stuff, and we have a we're a little closer to finding those answers. But uh, and then the other thing is, is we want to see what the leadership's going to be like from from our older guys. And we've got a good senior class, but at the same time, uh, you know, what they can do on paper and what they can do on film doesn't necessarily always translate into solid leadership. And, and we've had years when we've lost good kids and uh, the leadership wasn't there and we didn't have a very good year when we probably had the talent to do it. So uh, that's a big question mark going in as well as the, you know, just personnel stuff. All right.